It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Dog's Window Brewery and this is a bottle of the Mutz Nuts Quadruple Hopped Double IPA or Quadruple Hop Citra Double IPA coming in at 7.5% ABV. There's a look at the label. Silver bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Uh, these guys are based in Bridgend, South Wales. Whoa, look at that. Look at the carbonation on that. Wow. Has it got a... No. I thought it might have had um, a widget in the bottom of the glass. It doesn't have a... A widget, it's just, yeah, look at the carbonation. Can you see that? Fantastic. It's a hazy looking beer, amber in colour. Well, you can see the carbonation. It's almost like one of those kind of fireplace videos you see on YouTube where you can sit in front of it for hours on end. I've often thought, do I just record a, a, a carbonated beer like this and upload it to YouTube for hours on end to see just to let you watch it you know the carbonation doing this thing and yeah maybe I don't know maybe it's a stupid idea um let's get the aroma then oh wow 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 11 of sweetness of course this quite a bit of malt in this beer but then again there's lots and lots of hops a quadruple citra a quad hopped with citra and it's given off like a fruit tart jammy yeah real almost like a plum fruit mix jam aroma some lemon sherbet or something like that. Yeah, let's dive in. It smells terrific. Cheers, everybody. <clears throat> oh, fair play. Oh, fair play. I've got to put that down. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what a terrific beer. It's, yeah, it's like jamminess and tartness and, and lemon sherbet and the carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth and releases more of that flavour. And there's some orange peel and there's some, yeah, there's, there's a touch of grapefruit in there. The bitterness just builds on the back of the palate. And there's a lovely, a real lovely malty biscuity finish in the middle of the beer. You get hops up front, first of all, carbonation, then sweetness, then some hops, then this biscuity middle, then the second part of the middle, if that makes sense, is lots and lots of hops, lots of flavour. Like, yeah, like plum jam or, or mixed fruit jam and then on the back end just this wonderful amount of a balanced bitterness it's very balanced between the sweetness to begin with and the bitterness on the back end yeah um well then dogs window brewery um i met the brewer he come round to my house visited my house he came in um had a look at the kitchen dropped off six bottles of beer and a pint glass um, in no way, in no way is this video at all sponsored by Dog's Video, uh, Dog's Video, or Dog's Window Brewery, should I say. Um, it was just a case that he was passing by, he dropped some beers off. This is a 100% independent beer review. Just because the brewer visited my house doesn't mean I'm going to start rolling out 10 out of 10s um, because the brewer's dropped beer to my house. This is genuinely... A really, really good beer. A really good beer. Yeah, it's got this like, um, 
almost mentally plummy, figgy, I don't know, plum, plum, fruit jam, but it's got like this kind of mental thing going on in the background, but it's really good. It just adds an extra kind of dimension to the beer. The mouthfeel is very important to this beer. This, it's very drinkable, but at the same time, it's got this like almost barley wine type consistency to it. Of course, if you were to age this beer for two years, it would then become a barley wine. The hops would drop out. It wouldn't be a double IPA anymore. Being 7.5% ABV, it would transform itself into becoming a barley wine. But because I'm drinking it really, really fresh and I get all of them hops up front, it's, of course, it's a double IPA. It's the style of the beer. I'm just trying to emphasize the fact that, that it's, it's a refreshing barley wine type mouthfeel. Malty, but drinkable, very drinkable. Yeah, it's, it's really good. I'm very happy with this. And it's flying down. That's the dangerous thing. It's 7.5% ABV. And I feel like I could just whack this down now. And, and, it, and that's the thing. When you get a really, really good beer like this, like I have in my hand, they become session beers. Every beer that's a really good beer becomes a session beer because you just want to drink more of it. That's terrific. Absolutely terrific. Let's see what the brewer says. Hopped at every stage in brewing, it has a vast amount of citra hops bringing amazing aromas. Bursting out of the glass, aromas of citrus, peach and alici. At Dogs Owner Brewery, we brew high quality handcrafted beers with all natural ingredients. Honestly, this brewery, and this guy brews in his garage. So he's just kind of like, he's opened the brewery, he's a, like a level up from, from home brewing. He's brewing industrial beer in his garage and he's produced from his garage something as good as this. It's a really, really good beer. It is the Mutt's Nuts, <laughs> as they say. Rating. Good lacing on the glass, good carbonation. Look as I rock the beer back and forth. You can see the quality of the beer. You can see that carbonation chasing the beer or chasing the head of the glass. Looks good, smells good. Tastes wonderful, really wonderful. I'm gonna, you know, I wasn't expecting to say this. Um, why, mm, why, why not? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscri <laughs> subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. And cheers.